Hi everybody, I'm Starla. I'm it. And we are Our Family Plays, Plays Games. Games. Boom. And today we're back with another list. Mm-hmm. Now, as you know, every time we do a list, we always have to give you a story about the arguments, the behind the scenes, what yeah. didn't make the list. Whew. And this is no exception. Mm-hmm. We have quite a few dice games. A bunch. And a most bunch. of them I love. Yes. Now, yes. some of them I don't play because they're his games. Solo. Solo. And so, of course, if they're solo, they don't make the list. Mm-mm. Even though he doesn't like that. Don't. They, they don't, don't make the list. So we have to narrow it down to games that I play mm-hmm. or that we play as a family. Mm-hmm. And then his solo games got kicked to the curb. And he can do that some other time on his own show doing the solo games. No, I but like right, being with you, though. I like being with you, though. I know. Yeah. But right now, we're going to talk about cool. the top 10 dice games All right. in our collection. All right. Let's do it. Now, hopefully you have some of these games. If you don't. We'll introduce you to them, and maybe you'll like them, because we love them. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And these, we really do love. We do. And we We bring them out. We do. We we bring them out. Yeah. So, we're going to start off with number 10. Mm -hmm. And this one, The Gateway. This is We played this one, one of our first games we played when we got into the hobby. This is one of our first ones, and it's a gateway. And for me, it's hard to say number 10, Mm -hmm. because it's such a great game. Yes, I mean, it it's is. perfect for new people yes, coming to the hobby. It's perfect for families. Yes, it is. But out of some of the other ones that we have, this one had to be number 10. But it made the list. Yeah. So it made the list. Stone Age. Stone Age. By Z-Man Games. Z-Man Games. Stone Age. That's the, and it has the two classic. four players. Yeah. So you can get a family of four around the table. Yeah. And you'll love it. Now, I got to give you a story about Stone Age. All when right. When we first... We first went to do the Stone Age. Right. We went to a game meetup mm-hmm. in Houston mm-hmm. at a restaurant called Taco Cabana. Mm-hmm. And the lady who showed us Stone Age, Kim. 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 Um, hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. Uh, showed us Stone Age. I, I was like, okay, I like it. But it seemed a little cumbersome at first. Mm-hmm. But I just think sometimes when you're in the wrong environment, and I just don't think that restaurants may be the best place yeah. for a game you know, to learn games. Now, that's not a a gaming cafe that's specifically tailored to games, but we were in a Taco Cabana. Now, I don't know if you know what Taco Cabana is, but it's like a step above a Taco Bell. So, you're trying to play a game and everybody's ordering stuff, but after my husband bought it, Mm -hmm. I fell in love with it. Yeah, it was good. It's a good game. It's a good game. You know, doing all those dice, worker placement. It's worker placement. It's it's really a real worker placement game. It is, but But you got to have dice. You got to have them dice. And you got the cute little You get those resources so you can, you know, you can collect those little, uh, uh, what are those, uh, the uh, huts. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have huts. huts, you know, but yeah. you have to have the dice to roll. Yeah. You know, and it's come, it comes with this like leather cup. The stinky cup. It's well, kind of stinky. It doesn't stink. It's, just, it's, stinky. it's leather. But I, I love it. And you shake it up. And yeah. you hear the dice roll and yeah. stuff. And you get one dice per meeple or per worker. Mm-hmm. And as you grow your tribe, you get mm-hmm. more dice. And so this game is really about dice. You dice. got you got to have dice to do anything. That's right. So the you dice rolling resources. mechanic is yeah. really a big one. But then there's also worker placement. Yeah. And there are also yeah. cards involved. Mm-hmm. So um, there are a lot. There's a lot yeah. to it, but once you learn it, you love it. A little mathy. That's why yeah. Grant don't like it. Yeah, there's a lot of math to it. You yeah. gotta learn how to add. You gotta add, and Grant, you know, <laughs> Grant's like math. You know, hey, yeah, you gotta have it. You gotta have a little math in gotta it. Gotta have it. But that's what I love about these yeah. games for your family, because mm-hmm. in the course of all the fun, there's an educational element. Yes, it is. So yes, it is. Number ten is yes, it is. Stone, Stone Age. Age. We love it. Yeah. Hope you get it. So now number, number nine. Number nine. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about number nine? Woo! I like it too. Yeah, it's one of I your like favorites. It yeah. But you know, you always say, you know, it's kind of noisy. And, and if you don't have yeah. the right people in this game, they could do a little turning of the, you know, yeah. little, little cheating. Yeah, little so cheating, number nine maybe. is little Roll cheating. for the Galaxy. Yeah. And it's another game that comes with its own dice cup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody has a dice Everybody cup. Everybody has a dice cup. So, and it's not yeah. a nice leather cup. No. You know, where it's kind of muffles the sound. It's plastic. It's plastic, and it can get noisy when you shake Boom. it yep. up. And, yep. But that's the fun part, though. That's the fun part. Now, if you got people that don't like noise, this may not be the one. Now, but, it's the it's the dice version yeah. of Race for the Galaxy. Now, yes. we did have that, yeah. but all that symbols and all that, just, yeah. we just didn't... 
get yeah. down with that. So yeah. we sold that away and got Road for the Galaxy. For the and galaxy. we like that a lot because it's kind of quick. You know, you can, mm -hmm. you can manipulate the dice to yeah. do what you need to do when you get the right tiles mm -hmm. and stuff and the planets and, you know, the different little, uh, you know, uh, tiles and, and try to move around. But you got to have the right folk. Got to yeah. have some honest now, folk around the table. Now, we're rolling for the Galaxy. It's fun for uh, kids because it is noisy. Yeah, you got kids yeah. who want to make noise and they want to roll dice and they'll put them on the table. And we as people of color, yeah. you know, if you've ever played dominoes or, you know, sometimes we like to slam the bones on the table. So this is one of those games where you can take your cup and yeah. not too hard because you don't want to break it. No. But w with this game, there's mm -hmm. a trust factor. Yeah. Because you've got this little partition mm -hmm. where you have to put your dice behind and mm -hmm. you have to determine what side or what symbol is you're going to be using mm -hmm. and it's based on what you roll now if you're playing with people that you don't know if you can trust them they may turn their dice mm -hmm. yeah this may not be the game for you because mm -hmm. you know there are times you got to give people a side mm -hmm. eye now you sure side you got all those you sure that that's the right one but mm -hmm. you know you got to take their word for it mm -hmm. but if you're taking their word for it and you think that there's it's a fun game it's a fun game i fun mean game. I, I, I like it really you do. know but really um do. It, it is it's from a uh, real grande game. Real grande games, yes. two to five players, noisy, noisy, fun, fun, fast. Gotta like it. Kind of the faster brother of Race for the Galaxy. It is. Yeah. It is. Now so, number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a racing game. Yes, it is. It's a racing game with dice. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. Because you're you're making these these machines yes. to race. And it is steampunk Steam rally. Steampunk rally. Yeah. Yeah, now Steampunk Rally, it, it's two to five players. It's from five Roxy, Roxy Games, games. From Roxy Games. I like it, but sometimes the machines you come up with... Woo, this be all over the place. It's crazy looking. All over the place. And you use the dice to power up your yes. machine. Yes, So, But it is fun. Mm -hmm. It is another game where you get a chance to have a little ed education in it because they talk about yes. historic Different historical people, people yeah. in the game. Now, the one thing I do like, they yeah. do have a little diverse... Uh, yeah. you know, diversity yeah. in the game. They do. And George Washington Carver's in the game. He is. Yeah, you because know? it's about inventors. Yeah. Inventors who, who make their own little vehicles or to be in this rally. So Now, if you don't know about George yeah. Washington Carver, look him up. Yeah, look, look him, him up. up. Yeah. The Steampunk Rally is number eight. Mm -hmm. It is a must-have, you know, in your collection. Yes, it's yes. Your, you, we don't pull it out all the time, but it's, it just has so much value to it yes, that it, it had to make the list. Yes, it did. And I think that they're making the second version of uh, Steampunk Fusion, yeah. which is kind of futuristic. Yeah. Which yeah. is pretty cool. I look I forward to that we'll, one. We'll have to get that one too. Yeah, we look forward to it. Now, now number seven. Number seven. Number seven. I, I really do like that one. Yeah, we love this one. Yes, we do love this one. Because we got a little history, a lot does. of stuff going on, yeah. but we really like it. And that's Discoveries, the Journals of Lewis and Clark. Yes. And basically, you're creating a journal with dice, with dice. and you're using your dice because you're taking the the identity of one of the uh, persons on the expedition, expedition yeah. and you know you're doing Lewis or Clark or some of the others, yeah. and you're trying to find out different routes along mm -hmm. to, in the New World, yeah. or you know try to find animals, different animals, uh, negotiate with Native Americans, Native Americans, and that's the part because a lot of the Native mm -hmm. Americans in this game. We lived in Seattle, Washington for a while, mm -hmm. and a lot of the Native American tribes that they mentioned that they mentioned we know about. Yeah, played we, at their casinos. We've actually been on played, some played of their some reservations, yeah. you yeah. know, like yeah. the Tillamook Tribe. Tillamook you know? Tribe, yeah. So we we know about them, and, and we really like that game. Yes, this we game because of that factor. Yes. and I know we keep saying a lot of history. A lot of history. It's a lot of history. We yeah. don't say how we love these games, and we do. Yeah. That's why they're not collection, yeah. and we want them in your collection. Yes, we That's do. why we tell you about them. So. So discoveries, discoveries is a good one. It's a good yeah. one. Yeah, discoveries is a good one. No, number, number six. Number six. Everybody knows about it, so we don't have to tell you much about it. Yeah. Everybody knows about it's, it. It's number six, and it's not number six because it didn't deserve to be in a yeah. higher spot, but it's number six because just based on dice games, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. the beauty of the game, Yeah. but just based on dice games, that's yeah. why I came in at number six, and we're talking about Wingspan. Yeah. We love it. We do love it. We love it. It's it's a beautiful game. Yeah. And, and the dice are mean. Mean. Because <laughs> when you need the we need the little rats, you can't get the rats. You can't get the rats. Or if you need fish, it's always the food that you need for your particular bird. You can't get it. That never comes into the bird feeder. So yeah. you keep rolling and like 
I need some berries. Where the berries at? Yeah, so it doesn't show yeah. up. But we do love Wingspan. Yes, it, it is a dice game. And beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. It, it is beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. But you got to have dice. Got to have dice to game, get the so. resources and collect your birds. You yeah. you know, you got to get the resources to collect those birds. Yes, you do. You gotta gotta feed have them. It. got to feed them. Got to get them. Got to feed you gotta your birds. Got to get them. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. Feed your birds. <laughs> feed your birds. <laughs> Yeah, the number so five. Number, yeah, so that was Wingspan. Oh, and, number and uh, Wingspan, Stonemaier Games. Stonemaier Games, one to five players. Great game to have in your collection. Yeah. So now we can go on to number five. Number five. Now, number five. Is a family game. Yeah, our son mm -hmm. loves this one. Yes. And his friends love this one. Yes. It is King of Tokyo. Woo! Yes. King of Tokyo is by ILO Games, two to six players. And it's got everything a teenage boy or girl may want. Monsters, combat, more monsters. <laughs> so, big dice. Big dice. Big, big dice big make dice, a whole bunch of noise. Make a lot of noise. Uh, you, you get to fight everybody's monsters. Use, and, use cards to kind of help you out to, to, help you out. to fight some more. Yeah. yeah. But rolling those dice. Rolling those big dice. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you get a claw. Mm. You know, you got to get three of those. Or you, need, or you need hearts, you know, to keep going. And then you can't you yeah. can't uh, repair your damage when you're in Tokyo. No, you can't. So, so when everybody's ganging up on you. The hearts don't matter. You got to get out. You got to get out. Matter. And then Grant. Grant always gets those, like, he gets a bunch of uh, threes or, or yeah. you know, uh, ones. He'll have six ones. Yeah. You know, like, what the world? I don't know. We always thought it was six threes. fishy about yeah. that. But we watch him closely and he, and rolls, he just has he the rolls. luck. I mean, he has the luck with dice. And beat us down every time. That's why he loves it. He loves it because he beats. I tell you. I tell you. But yeah, King of Tokyo yeah. must have. Now, this is a new one that we like. It's, yep. it's, a, it's a new one mm -hmm. to our collection. Mm -hmm. And we do like it. We do. Yep, we do like it. And yeah. it's by the same person that made uh, Quacks of Quirkenberg. Yes. And that is, you say that because that's... Taverns of Typhonthal. Yes, there you go. And it's by... North Star Games. North Star Games. Yes. Two to six players. Where you're running a tavern. I, let me correct you. Okay, two okay. to four players. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, and you're running a tavern. And you're running a tavern. And you're trying to get mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the... Uh, a and lot of patrons. people, you, you know, patrons, you to, patrons your to your tavern. Yeah. And you got to roll yeah. dice. You got to roll dice. You got to roll dice. And, and use those dice, you know, as kind of like mm -hmm. a worker placement. Like a worker placement. And, and put it in different spaces so you can get enough mm -hmm. beer and money so you can keep on building up your mm -hmm. tavern. So yeah. it's really cool. And even though it's a tavern and it has beer in it, yeah. it's still a family friendly still family game. Family, it's it's yeah. cute. It's, it's family you game. You can teach your family kids game. how to run a bar yeah. or a tavern. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's it's a really good game and we do like it. And it's one of our newer ones. Yes. And it's, it's really yeah. cool got it has modules already yeah. in it so you can keep you know putting on more advanced stuff yeah. into the game make, so you can make it better you can change it yeah. and don't get bored with I like it. it i love it when games give you those extra things so yes. you don't get bored yes. with them at all and it's you not like you have it. to buy extra yeah. you know expansions for exactly. it yeah it's already there yeah so number three number three number three and we love this one this is another Woo! one that teenagers are gonna love our son loves it. It's another one with dice and combat and, and monsters. And the <laughs> only combat game Starla likes. The only one. Yeah. Because when you usually say combat, Starla's like, nope. Mm, 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 mm. But well, this one, you play. Well, King of Tokyo has a little bit of combat. Yeah. This has more. This has more. This has more. Because this is the, you know, what, what, let's tell you what it is. Yeah. Champions, Champions of, of Midgard. Midgard. Yeah, yes. from Gray Fox Games. And yeah. we love it. Because when Starla said she loved it, I got everything for it all the expansions yeah. we have everything and it is fun mm -hmm. you get your your vikings which are yeah. dice yeah and you go off and fight things you got berserkers you know, trolls trolls <laughs> I mean, it's fun. Yeah, it's your, fun. Your ship gets taken out. Your get, and then everybody cheered. I hope your, your ship goes. <laughs> you know, I hope, I, hope it, I hope it disappears. I hope yeah. you lose some men. Yeah, you know. that's kind of bad if yeah. your ship gets hit by a storm or something. And, oh, the Kraken comes at you. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's a fun but game. But it's fun. You're going to laugh. Yes. Uh, it yes. is two to four players. Mm -hmm. You're going to love it. Yeah. Get your family around the table. Yes. So, I mean, we've named quite a few games that are really family friendly. Yes. Teenage yes. friendly. They'll love yes. it. Mm -hmm. Get it for your family. Yes. Number two, 
And number two is beautiful. Beautiful and it's all nothing but dice. It's all dice. It's all it dice. is Sagrada. Sagrada. Sagrada is by Floodgate Games. Mm -hmm. One to four players. Beautiful game. But it is pretty. You've got these beautiful pretty. kind of translucent like dice. And you're kind of like building and a, you're making these, a stained uh, window. A stained glass yeah, window. Yeah, trying to make sure you go by the rules and, you know, how yeah. you put, you know, the different dice in there. But yeah. it's, it's really beautiful. It is, it's really pretty. It's yeah. colorful. And I'm really happy that we have that yes, one because we do. It, it really makes you think about how beautiful stained glass really is. And, you, and it's so intricate yeah. and how the colors are put together. Yeah. And, and it kind of takes you to a place that has stained glass. Yes. So you think about a church or, yes. you know, some beautiful cathedral with stained glass. Mm -hmm. Love Sagrada. Yes, we do. Absolutely yes, we do. love it. And we have the expansion. Yes. But we haven't played yet. No, we haven't. Got to do that. Got to do that. We've got a large shelf of shame. Yeah, we so, do. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, do. Yeah, we yeah, do. We're, we're, we're working on it, though. We're trying to get through it. Yeah, yeah. But Sagrada yeah. is definitely our number two. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. I say get it. Now, a lot of people going to be surprised by number one. It's going to yeah, be surprised. Yeah. But we, when we go traveling... Because just like at the last con we were able to go to, yep. we took this. We did. And we played it. And we pulled and it out. And we love it. Yes. This is the one that we really do love. Now, believe it or not, it's a small box game. Yes, it is. But the reason why it's number one is because you can travel with it. Mm -hmm. And it just packs such a large punch. Yes, it does. When you put it on the table. Yes, it does. And that is Artifacts, Inc. From Red Raven Games. And yes. we love those games. And it's two to four mm -hmm. players. I mean, it's just everything's dice. I yes, mean, everything. You're, you're, that basically they're your workers. Yeah, they're your workers. Your adventurers. Yeah. You know, because you're trying mm -hmm. to, you know, um, guess build your expedition yes. company back in the 1940s. And you're looking up, for artifacts. And you're looking for artifacts. Yeah. You're trying to build it up using cards mm -hmm. to kind of help your company grow yeah. and go out there. And then when you find mm -hmm. the artifacts, sell it to a museum. So, and, and it's really fun. And you use those dice all over and, the place. And the dice are what you use yeah. to, yeah. you know, get the artifacts or mm -hmm. to sell, to yeah. buy, whatever yeah. you have to do. Yeah. It depends on what you roll on the dice. Yes, it is. Yes, it and is. And so it is a quintessential yes, it is. dice rolling game. So we just love all of these. And yes, we do. At the end of the video, we'll definitely put up a list as we yes. always do. Yes, like we always do. Yeah, to give you the our top 10 dice games. So mm -hmm. we hope that you like some of the things that we've talked about and you'll go and get them and try them out. Because they're good games. They're awesome games. Oh, man, they're good games. They're awesome games. Good games. And, you know, we just we just hope you really enjoy them because we, we really do too. We do. But it's so many Dice games out yeah, there. Yeah, and I mean, I talked, I said we should do top 20. He said, no, no let's narrow it down. So we'll, we'll have to do another one. Maybe you yeah. do solo games. That's true. Games I don't play. That's true. Yeah. That, it's a lot, lot of them. them. I yeah. Know. It's a lot of them. But I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but we are wearing some new shirts. Woo! And if you like these shirts and want to get one, we'll put the information at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love for you to say that your family plays games too. Yeah. So. Yeah. If your family plays games, get a shirt. Yeah. You know, and um, that's pretty much it. That's it. Now, like, <laughs> share, and hit the little notification bell. And just, hey, we're going to keep pumping out the content. Mm -hmm. So, and we want to say thank you too. Yes. Just thank you guys so much for everything. I know we did a thank you at a thousand, yeah, but yeah. you guys have still been coming onto our channel. And we just thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Yeah. And we're going to keep trying to give you some content and just. You know, be who we are. You know, this is who we are. This is it. This is it. You see what you see. What you see, what you get. This is it. So, we'll see you next time. All right. All right. Bye bye, guys. Bye, everybody. All right.